Pneumoperitoneum is the presence of air or gas in the abdominal cavity. It is often seen on X-ray, but small amounts are often missed, and CT is nowadays regarded as a criterion standard in the assessment of a pneumoperitoneum. CT can visualize quantities as small as 5 a cubed of air or gas. The most common cause is a perforated abdominal viscous, generally a perforated peptic ulcer, although any part of the bowel may perforate from a benign ulcer, tumor or abdominal trauma. A perforated appendix seldom causes a pneumoperitoneum. In the mid-20th century, an artificial pneumoperitoneum was sometimes intentionally administered as a treatment for a hiatal hernia. This was achieved by insufflating the abdomen with carbon dioxide. The practice is currently used by surgical teams in order to perform laparoscopic surgery. Causes Perforated duodenal ulcer, the most common cause of rupture in the abdomen, especially of the anterior aspect of the first part of the duodenum. Perforated peptic ulcer, bowel obstruction, ruptured diverticulum, penetrating trauma, ruptured inflammatory bowel disease, necrotizing enterocolitis pneumatosis coli, bowel cancer ischemic bowel, steroids, after laparotomy, after laparoscopy, breakdown of a surgical anastomosis, bowel injury after endoscopy, peritoneal dialysis, vaginal insufflation, colonic or peritoneal infection, from chest, non-invasive PAP can force air down duodenum as well as down trachea. Differential diagnosis, subrenic abscess, bowel interposed between diaphragm and liver and linear atelectasis at the base of the lungs can simulate free air under the diaphragm on a chest X-ray. See also, football sign, Riggler's sign, references, Ali Noor's Khan. emedicine.com, pneumoperitoneoma, necrotizing enterocolitis bugs, drugs and things that go bump in the night, sexual activity as cause for non-surgical pneumoperitoneum.